In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the widths of columns in a table or matrix in Power BI. I'm a bit sick, so you'll have to excuse my voice. It's just the way it is. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you have your table and you're going to want to go to the property specifically to turn off auto size width. So by default, it's on. You want to turn that off because we're going to set that manually. And then you want to change the width manually of each one of your columns. So what I typically suggest is you make one really big and then you make the others really small. Like this. Uh, that helps us identify it in the metadata, which is how we're going to set the column widths. We then want to name the page if we haven't already. So we could call this uh, table column width page, doesn't matter. Uh, and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to save our report as a PBIP or Power BI project file. So we first have to enable this option. You do this by going File, Options and Settings, Options, which is the first option there. And then you want to select preview features and you want to be sure that the Power BI project save option, that this is enabled. So this allows you to save to PBIP or Power BI project files. So this is going to allow us to access the report metadata, which is how we're going to set the column widths, which is the only way we can do this now. So we now want to save this. So browse this device. And we have the option to save this using uh, different formats. We can save it as a PBIX, which is the standard Power BI file format. We can save it as a PBIT or Power BI template, but we're going to save it as a Power BI project file or PBIP. So this is a new format uh, and it is in preview, but it allows you to save the metadata of both the report and the data set. So we're going to do that. Uh, so we're going to do just save it as the PBIP. And then we're going to navigate to where we saved it. So we've now saved this PBIP. It has inside of it a table or matrix where we want to set the column widths. And we're going to look at the report metadata by going into this report folder. And we can do this by selecting this report.json. And this will allow us to be able to see the metadata for the report. That lets us see different things like the properties of the visuals, the locations, uh, the names, which measures are used, all of that stuff. So I need to note that this is not an officially supported feature. Um, this is something that, that is unsupported. Uh, but if you, for some reason, you still want to do this, go ahead. It still works. Uh, just a disclaimer that it's not officially supported, at least not yet. And the reason for that will become clear. So we open this and we now see that we have all this information in a JSON file. So this is actually the metadata of the report. And if we scroll down, we have sections. So sections is actually the pages in your report. And then you have these different properties of the section. So we can see, for example, we have the table column width page. This is the name of our page so we know we're looking at the right page and we want to look at visual containers so this is a list or array of visuals on that page so we want to find the visual that we are going to change we want to find the table that we're going to change and this is really easy because we can just once we find this we can go control f and we can just look for this column width property and it will show us this property is only available for matrices and tables. And uh, we can see that this is the reason why it's not supported. We have this heavily escaped uh, JSON here, and this is actually the metadata for the visual properties. But we can actually see that the column widths are visible right here. So that's what this number is, followed by D. So all we have to do is we just set this to the width in pixels that we want to have. Uh, so we just set it to, for example, 100. And then we go to the next one, which remember we set to be very small. We go 100, we go to the next one. So we had four columns. Again, this one was one that was small, 100. 
and we go to the next one. This is the last column, 100, and we're done. So we save this report JSON, and that's all we have to do. We then close this file, we go back, and then we just open this PBIP file. We just double click it, and it will open it in Power BI Desktop, and our changes will be visible immediately. So we've actually changed the column width, we've manually set it, and we can see that this is recognized by Power BI Desktop. So we have all of the column widths of our table are the same. All we had to do is just go in the metadata and set this ourselves. This is not a property that's exposed in the user interface. Right now, this is the only way that you can set manually the, uh, the column widths for tables and matrices in pixels, for example. So it's, it's relatively easy. All you have to do is go in the report metadata, you change these properties, you save it, and it's done. Again, it's not officially supported, but it's so straightforward. Uh, it's, it's relatively easy to do. So give it a try. Uh, it's just worth sharing if in case this is something that helps you. Again, sorry for my voice. I'm just sick. I've had no voice for like a week. So that's just how it is. So anyway, hope this helps someone.